Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. I am Wishblade and now let's try to actually do this goddamn mi the goddamn minigame. This goddamn minigame is what I wanted to say. Emo Cats. Is that your actual name, good sir? Wow, that's a bit sad. I'll... Yeah, I suppose maybe I'll tell you about some of these. And I did the normal and the hard mode off screen just to get it done, then I don't have to cut here in a moment once I hopefully do the easy one, but the normal one you have to do 15 things and you get 5 life bottles for doing that. The hard one you need to do 30 and you get 5 lemon gels. Non-stop is just you keep going and it never ends and endless because it kind of looks like it's the same thing, non-stop, endless, but endless is where you build up on a certain pattern, so maybe you start off with happy face. Then the next turn you start with happy face, then something else like sad face. And then on the third one it's happy face, sad face, whatever, etc and so on. And it just keeps going like that. So that's the difference between these two and this one's just random every time. So, let's see if I can actually do this now that I've done a little practice. I'm not sure why it's Genus who has to do this. And the music is actually kinda awesome. A little goofy, but awesome. Alright, so, happy face on the left bumper and sad face on the right bumper, it's always the same on those. And then, to the left is, whatever, up, question mark, to the, to the right is, I don't know, sweat drop, wah wah wah, and down is the light bulb. Let's see if I can remember those. And it's gonna be very embarrassing if I forget now. But yeah, I like to sort of kinda say it out loud so I remember a little bit more that I hear myself say it and so far so far it's going all right but you never know I might fuck up in just a little moment especially since I continue to talk because as we all know talking and playing games at the same time is kind of difficult and we get a wonderful view of the, of the wanted poster in the background of Lloyd it's very wonderful and voila there you go and the way it's the way that emo cats it's a silly name the way the cats shows the happy and the sad face stuff is by raising its arms and cheering with the happy one and like drying its tears on the sad face so there you go and for this one we'll get five apple gels i am so excited i gave you something indeed you just said you'd give me something you're weird, emo cats, but yeah. That's that's the minigame, and like I said, the other modes are just more of the same. Nothing else, not like you get stuff for the X, Y buttons and such. No, 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 just the same thing, but it takes longer. So there you go. Now I've done that, and I don't think you get more by doing it again, so... I'm not sure, but if you want to play it, then by all means. And now, we'll want to go down here and find this... We little lady, apparently, talking to this guy. About Eifried, apparently. Are there? Ooh! Are we gonna face a giant monster? Are we gonna sail along the seas like Final Fantasy IV and run into Leviathan or something like that? And we're gonna crash and one of our party members is gonna... Well, that might be a spoiler for Final Fantasy IV, but... Nah, it's not like... I suppose it wouldn't matter that much if I spoil Final Fantasy 4, but still. It would be a bit mean for me to do so, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah? Hi? What? What do you want? Um, there's the cats in the background and everyone else seems to disappear. Or seemed to disappear. Whatever. Okay. Um, um, yeah, we need to cross the ocean for that. Well, technically we don't, because if we went north instead of going here to Isuld and talking to all these people, we would actually be able to go to this Luin city. But... Well, if he's providing a boat, which he doesn't seem very eager to do so... Yeah, sure. Side quest. 
Yes, this is actually a side quest. It's not part of the actual main story or anything like that. This is actually a side quest, and we actually won't be doing it for a long time. And I'm not talking about the skull in the Ossa Trail cave over there. No, no, no. That was... That was not doing... That was us not doing something for a long time. This is some... This is us doing something... What the hell? I am great! I am so great! Can you hear it in my voice and my rambling and blah blah blah-ness? I am great. We're starting off this week's videos amazingly. <laughs> but we get Lila's letter for this Eifried character at some point way later in the game. So let's let's just leave it at that. We won't find this Eifried guy for a long time. And I believe I'm pretty much done here, so how about we head out to sea? Come, Max! Let us sail out and face these gigantic monsters. It's not really a, that big of a boat, I must say. What? You you don't like boats, Rain? You're gonna get seasick? Maybe. But yeah, look at this boat. It's so goddamn small. Like, who can even be in that cabin? It's like... What is in there? Like one bed or something? Yeah, and this text just moves on its own. I'm so sorry my ship is too tiny for you. Mm-hmm. No, don't fall, Colette. You can't have that. We don't want you falling into the the depths of the ocean. So here's a wee little a wee little cutesy cutscene of us kinda sailing along the sea. Going over to that area. Way over there. Probably took ages, but behold the power of the game being nice to us. We don't have to watch the entire journey. And here we are, the port city of Palma Costa. Or Palma Costa. Either one works, I believe. I'm not sure there's anyone actually who said, this is the official name. But yeah, thank you for the assistance. Aw, that's too bad. You can't handle the monsters on your own, the monsters that we didn't face or anything like that. Oh well. Indeed, we must find all the clues and all the things, and this is kind of a big city, so there's a bunch of things we must do here. On one hand, we need to talk to dogs. And yes, I said dogs, there's actually two of them around here. But here's the first one. What shall it be named? Teddy. Mm. Hello, Teddy. And over here is the Seven Sea Shop. A bunch of fish, a bunch of stuff, and a bunch of other things. And down here is the General Store. Some customization and some item and weapon stores, so I think I'm just gonna cut right here and I'll be right back after I've done all my shopping. Alrighty then, I got a bunch of new stuff. So I bought this rapier here for Lloyd, I'm not gonna use it because of the certain title you can get a little later, but I got it for later on, a sword designed specifically for thrust attacks. That's a, actually something I might want to explain, the slash and thrust for Lloyd, but... I also got him some chainmail, thick upper body chainmail. I also got that for Kratos. For Genus, I got him a dual star. It can do dam- it can do some damage when swung with force. And for Kratos, I customized a steel sword with his long sword, his old long sword. With the battle staff, I made a gem rod, a rod decorated with a cheap gem on the top. A simple sword made of steel. I don't know why I'm giving some of the descriptions, but whatever. And for Colette, I also made a slicer ring with the flying disc from Triette. A ring-shaped weapon designed for use in battle. And I believe that is all the things I got. So, let us move on and stay as Colette for a little bit, because there's a dog I want to talk to eventually, so might as well. 
Here we go. Oh. Watch where you're going. What the hell was that? Did you just... Did you carry blood in a bottle? Well, you can w watch where the hell you're going. Jesus. Colette, you don't have to apologize. Well, that's too bad, I guess. Okay. Well, sorry. Um... Well, shit happens, dude. Sorry. That's the way of the world. No, Colette, you don't have to do that. Uh, yeah, replacement potion. Are you bad at hearing? <laughs> what? What, are you some kind of berserker? Appease my anger! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lloyd. Um, do you want him to repeat that? <laughs> and who are you, actually? Really? I really don't care, so... Yeah, I really don't want trouble in the city. That sounds like a really bad idea. Fine, jeez, whatever. God, whatever. Nah, nah, nah. You didn't run into them, you walked into them, and they walked into you. Or that chick with the dark hair walked into you. But I guess if you want to do that, then fine. So yeah, we can't leave the city this way because... Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. So, yeah. I guess we'll have to find one of these here Palma potions, and... Guess what? Since I know where we're going and such, I know we can get one in here. Oh, please! There's no way anyone would sell those to you at a price that low. You should be thankful that we're even willing to spend money for goods from a rundown shack like this. I don't need to hear that from a bunch of filthy designs. I'm not going to sell one single gel to the likes of you. Shukala, stop. But Mom, these are the same monsters that took Grandma away. You've got some nerve talking to us like that, little girl. You keep that up, and we can't guarantee what'll happen to you or the city. Just try it. As long as Governor General Dor is around, we'll never submit to the likes of you. You little... Stop. We'll exceed our quota for this year. We need permission from Lord Magnus to go any further. Huh. Depending on Lord Magnus's mood, you might or might not get to keep that pretty little head of yours. Well then, I'm off to work now, Mom! Take care. I apologize for what happened. I'm sure you were startled. Please, relax and take a look around. I can't say I were startled or anything like that, but I wanted to kill some designs, but... Nah. Whatever. Door of Palma Costa. They are kinda brave. At least, that girl is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they aren't just... Some goddamn wimps up in this area. That would be awesome, but no. Maybe we should speak to him. But we should also all oh, sure, sure. Also speak to this here lady. And because I've bought a whole bunch of equipment, I don't have enough gold to buy a Palma potion. Well But yeah, you can actually use the Palma potion in combat, so it protects against physical ailments but reduces attack. I don't like that. I like my attack. And a guard bottle. We haven't seen that before. Temporarily increases defense by 10%. Alrighty. It kinda is. 1,000 gold for a potion? Damn. Yeah, I doubt it. They seem kinda angry. It's not your fault, Colette. Be quiet. See, this is what I'm talking about. Um... Well, kinda, I guess. Oh, okay. Well, um... Sure, I guess. Oh! What, we're gonna be a waiter? A waitress? Oh, okay, Colette, sure, if you wanna do that. <laughs> yeah, the, the Chosen is gonna be a waitress. Yeah, that's something that's gonna happen. Well, I guess we're gonna... 
Go do that, so this way. And what's happening over there? Oh. Damn it, people, why do you have to take people's parents away? Or at least parents from children. If it was someone's parent, like, I don't know, the parent of an adult, then maybe, no. Because the adults can take care of themselves. But a kid? Eh, not so sure about that. Well, that's nice. Oh. So much sadness is going on right now. Hmm. Good people. Fight the designs. That's a good thing. Aw. How nice of him. Confidence and positivity. I like it. Ah, so that's the door. <laughs> Alright then. Seems like a good leader. I like him. Oh. Again with the sadness, I don't like it at all. I don't like that. General door? Oh, Governor General door. He seems like a nice guy. That's wonderful. Indeed, Colette. Indeed. Yeah. It's nice. And here on this wee little plaza, there's another doggy. Come here, doggy. I want to talk to you. I want to give you a name. Pepe! 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 It's like the bird in Warcraft. Pepe is a wonderful thing. Hello there, just because. How you doing, ma'am? What? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure why I wanted to talk to her. Standing there, being a little senile. Maybe some more chatter with her would prove that to you, but whatever. And here is the school. Oh, really? Huh. Okay. Yeah, because Genus is a genius. Well, Genus is awesome, so shut the hell up. Um... Yeah, Lloyd, that's not really that impressive at all. Yeah, it's a high level for Lloyd. Oh, hell no! I'm gonna beat you up. That's right. Genius is amazing. What? A challenge? Well, you know what? Sure. We'll take on this challenge. This challenge of smarts. Oh no, you're gonna regret it later because Genius is gonna kick your ass. Fine, we will. Well that's okay, Genius, I'm sure you're... You're quite smart anyway. Oh well, I guess we're borrowing some classroom somewhere and this weird looking thing, guess what that is? That's right! The power is what it is! The mysterious gourmet, the wonder chef! Spell your love with ketchup, I shall teach you this recipe for omelettes! Delicious omelette! Nom 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 nom! Good thing I've already eaten, otherwise I'd get hungry. Rice and egg. <laughs> Alright. It sounds so very simple. Farewell, my friend! Such glory and wonderment. Now, I believe for a fact that somewhere in this place is supposed to be another one of those wee books that tell us a little bit about the backstory of the world and such, but I will admit I don't really know where it is, so I don't know, I'm kind of looking around a little bit, just a tiny little bit, but I don't think it's in here. Apparently, clearly. So, moving on. And right here, actually, is the cafeteria. Should I do that now, or should I wait? I'm not sure. You know what, I think I'll wait. Because, I don't know. 
it's another mini game, so maybe I shouldn't show that off right now. I'll I'll wait a little bit. Nope, no idea what the hell that book is. Maybe I should have tried to figure that out before I actually starting to record. You know? Aw, the rest of us have to do this too. <laughs> the Kratos. Did I say the Kratos? <laughs> and Kratos is just like. Whatever. So, these questions will actually affect Genus's affection towards you. If you get two questions right, at least two questions right, then he'll get a boost. If you get all of them right, then he'll get quite a large boost. If you get one right, I'm not sure, I think you lose a little bit of affection. And if you get none of them right, you lose a bunch of affection. But what did Lloyd learn from Kratos in the Tree at Ruins? He learned Guardian. Question 2 on the Austin Trail. What did the value of 9.8 that Gina Substitute refer to something? That was... Uh... Universal Gravitation. I think. Something. I kinda skipped over that a little bit, so... Oops, sorry. Nine is nine of them, so what, what, what? Lloyd, what are you talking about? Yeah, you have to be quiet during the tests. And where was Lloyd born? Now, frankly, I actually don't know. I don't... Dirk's house, no. But was he born in Isalia? Or was he just... I don't know, was he born, like... I don't know, it... One can assume it's Isalia, but we really don't know. We just know his... He's been living here for most of his life, but I'm gonna go with this alia. I don't know. I don't know about that. The ice melts because it's Ifrit, so it was silt that... What are you talking about, Lloyd? Aw, poor genius can't concentrate. Alright then. Apparently we're off to do our wee little testy thing. And still... I don't know where this wee book thing is. It's making me very sad, but I don't know. Maybe I'll find it later or something. I don't know. So let's go in here and do ourselves a wee little test. Indeed, the match shall begin and you will not defeat Genus. Okay, yep, that's, that's fair. Instead of a student preparing the questions, it should be a teacher or something like that. Much better. Oh, God damn it, Rain. Why do we have to? Fine. Total silence. Mumble, mumble, grumble. 25 points out of how many? But out of how many, Lloyd? 25 out of... Hundred? Thousand? Million? Okay, well it's not hundred. Two hundred and ten points for Colette. Okay, twenty-five out of four hundred. Yeah, not so good. Alright. Nicely done. Well, obviously Rain gets a perfect score, obviously. Indeed. One can only expect perfection from the master. Mighty. Mighty Washington. That's your name? Wow. Huh. Alright. Well, it is possible, actually. Maybe you got... You both got the same question wrong and such. Shoot! You're an asshole. Nah, okay. Maybe I should just stay out of this and let Genus just... Do... Just... Genus, you handle all this. I... I can't be bothered. Yeah, Genus is awesome. What? Genus? What? No! Genus, you can't stay here! You need to come with us! You need to come with us on the journey of world regeneration. I'm gonna miss you if you stay here with all these idiots. Well, actually, maybe they're not idiots because they're kind of smart and it's 
the best school in Silveron, but still. That amazing shake head animation. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah! Thank you, genius. A certificate to enter the academy. Hm. Well, I suppose once we're done, we can always come back. And Genus obtained the title of Honor Roll. Let's have a look at that. Genus, what does that do? Less defense, more accuracy. Hmm, does it give any intellect at all? I call it intellect because I'm too used to World of Warcraft instead of intelligence. But yeah, hmm, intelligence, accuracy. Well, accuracy doesn't, I don't know. I'm not sure it matters that much for Genus, so... Whatever. Now, I'm gonna keep looking around for this book. I'm not... I still don't know. I might have to look around for this book after ending this here episode, because... Well, who knows, who knows. I'll look around for it later, I think. Right now, I think we're gonna go outside. Right here. And before going over there to talk to Dor, I think we're gonna go down here and have a look at this boat. It looks like a very fancy boat. Look at that. Looks like a good old steamboat. It's very pretty. That's what she said! I'm sorry, but it had to be done. Man, yeah, it's kind of a big ship. At least compared to Max's. No, no, no. Oh. I suppose. Well, maybe it is. Genus, maybe. You never know. I don't know if I'm surprised, but kind of amazed. Sure. The steamship Isabel. How wonderful. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing here? What are you talking about? Apparently your name is Sheena. As it says up there, but I don't think we've ever actually been properly introduced to you. Well... That kind of ruins her introduction later on. <laughs> God damn it, game. Well, maybe this is intended for me to actually show this later? I don't know. It seems a bit dumb. Hi. Um. Um, okay. Um, why? I guess. It kind of is, yeah. And now, before we we end off, I think, I just want to show this off. But do that one thing. Mm -hmm. If you know what that is, then kudos to you. If you don't, well, then I feel sorry for you. But I think we're going to end the episode off with that little tidbit of, I don't know, what do you, what do you call that? A cameo of sorts? Something, a reference, a reference. I think that's right. Something like that. But yeah, we're gonna end it here, so thank you very much for watching, and until next time, see you later.